Mankind is on the brink of an AI revolution. Artificial intelligence or AI is supposed to take over many of the tasks and decisions from man. From the mundane things to the life or death decisions in war, is it possible for a machine to make good or great choices for you and I? Welcome everyone, this is Jason. Thank you for joining from Good to Great Academy where I share insights and tips on how your life can get from good to great or even from life sucks to life's better now. I remember many years ago when I was in college, our traffic engineering professor gave an assignment to write a simple AI program for traffic lights. This was at a time when AI was still in its infancy. The program would simply recognize and make a decision based on whether the light was green, yellow, or red. Green meant go, yellow slow down, and red stop. But what if a software virus took over the system and it randomly decided what green, yellow, or red meant? If AI were in control of the vehicles, then there would be a massive traffic jam and many accidents. The traffic light program was based on the binary system of zeros and ones. Basically, the program had two choices at each decision point, yes or no, this or that, like the basic choices we make every day. What if your internal programs were taken over by a virus or malware that caused the programs you're running to make wrong decisions or bad choices? That is what happens when our subconscious and our conscious minds are controlled by wrong or bad beliefs and values. Your life and mine are determined by our decisions and those of the people around us. People are making decisions for us all the time based on the programs they are running. People in government make decisions that govern our finances, our freedoms, our rights. The news media influences our decisions by giving us their opinions and facts. The entertainment industry determines what music we hear, the movies we see, games we play. I could go on and on. The point is that our lives are influenced by choices that are given to us, made for us, or we make ourselves. Writing the AI code seems simple because there are only two choices, zero or one, yes or no, this or that. In life every day we are surrounded by choices. It sounds so simple, but why do we still mess it up? It is important for you to make good choices for yourself and those around you. Without good programming and good values, the decisions that you make will cause you to make bad choices in life. Like the AI programs, our choices are based on the skill, logic, and values of the programmers that we had from conception until now. Even if the AI software is able to quote-unquote learn, it is still making choices and decisions based on the initial set of parameters given it. People are the same. If there was a glitch in the software from conception or early on in your life, your choices will continue to be bad or wrong because it's based on bad data or programming. You see people do this every day. They know the correct answer, but the programs they run makes the same bad choice in money, relationships, or their health. My question to you is how can the AI learn and make good decisions if the programmer didn't know what was good or evil, right or wrong, to create something new or make a decision that even the programmer didn't know it would have to make in the future? My thoughts on this is that the source code has to be flawless, if not, it needs to be changed. If you keep trying to patch the program, it will be very difficult and messy. And that is what many people are trying to do in their life. That is what I focus on and that I believe will take your life from good to great. Getting your subconscious programs that you're running back to its most effective and efficient form, its source. From your conception, you are being programmed and the data that the programmers, our parents or guardians input into us became our AI software or subconscious programs that we run to this very day. Even if you're 100 years old, I can almost guarantee that you're still using the old operating system from your parents or even from the genealogy of your great-grandparents and beyond. You inherited programs that were passed down from generation to generation. Today, science is finding that you can change the programming even inherited ones passed down through your DNA. It is possible to change the programs you run because like the AI learning programs, you can change the programming to improve its performance. How does the AI know if something is right or wrong, or if something is good or evil, especially if it doesn't have a numeric value? Who is programming the absolute values for the AI? Where did you get your absolute values for things like love, kindness, fairness, justice, generosity, and other things that don't have a numeric value? How did you get programmed? Some of it was passed down and some of these values were programmed or learned by you to your conscious or subconscious mind from parents, teachers, coaches, and society in general. Here is one thing you can do on your good to great journey to change a program that you are running. Let's change one program that almost everyone has running. It is the I am not enough belief. 
As I state in my book, I like the EFT method to help reprogram my subconscious. There isn't enough time on this video to explain why I like the EFT method, but I did some investigation into this method and it has good scientific data on why and how it works. I'm an engineer by education and trade and we're taught to think logically and skeptically at times because of the life or death consequences of our calculations and decisions. I like EFT because it passes my belief test from an engineering perspective. So let's work on and change this program that many of us are running for the I am not enough belief. Thank you. This is Jason. Subscribe to my channel. From Good to Great Academy, hit the like button. See you in my next video.